today I want to talk about work-life balance and playing the long game. I think for the longest time I actually fell into the trap of thinking that I could just like hustle my way through life, work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that that's the way that I was going to achieve a maximum amount of results. Uh, and boy, was I wrong. I actually think that part of this uh, stems from wanting to attain results as quick as possible and not having the patience to play the long game. So my tip number one for this is just like actually play the long game. Focus on how to sustain a high level of productivity and efficiency over a long period of time versus these bursts of wanting to accomplish something within a short span, let's say two weeks, three weeks, a month, and thinking that you can just like plow through. This will not only cause you to be less effective and less productive over time, but it will also cause burnout which can sometimes be very, very hard to come out of. The second reason you wanna take time for yourself and actually pause and think about the long term instead of burning out is uh, that when you take a step back from work, you actually have more mental clarity. So you can think about problems a lot clearer and a lot of times having a fresh perspective that you can then come back to work with uh, can be very, very beneficial to problem solving. You also wanna gain some life perspective. So another tip would be to actually go out and experience life, talk to other people, get out of your comfort zone and get out of your tunnel vision. Actually talking to other humans, living life can actually provide a different perspective alongside with simply taking a step back from work, just go out and experience new things. These new things uh, actually add a lot of value that will enhance the, the, the kind of work that you're doing and will also provide you with more creativity or creative solutions or ideas for solutions that will definitely help your day-to-day -day work. Especially working with startups, many times we're actually working to solve really, really complex engineering problems. So having the perspective to go out and talk to others actually help us empathize and understand if we're actually adding value to the problem that we're trying to solve. So this is why not only just working through, but actually taking some time to understand people and experience more things with people can help add a lot of value to our problem solving, specifically also with engineering and startups. And this is not just me. Actually, Einstein and Leonardo da Vinci have a lot of records in which they state that a lot of their creative breakthroughs came out when they were off the job, when they were actually taking walks or doing thought experiments. And that one they had uh, breakthrough insights that actually provided them with the answers uh, for most of their compelling work. And my last point is that you really want to take care of yourself. You really want to make sure that you're in a great mental space, that you're taking care of your physical, mental, and spiritual energies. That, that way you can provide the most on the job. People do notice uh, your, your kind of frequency and the energy that you're emanating into the world. So making sure that you're taking care of yourself actually allows you to be more in tune with the value that you're trying to provide and in turn be able to make the most out of not just your work, but your interactions with people on a daily basis. So those are my main thoughts for today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this topic. If you have any other topic ideas or things that you'd like me to discuss, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos for more insights insightful things on productivity, thoughts, tech, entrepreneurship. Thanks for watching.